okay, so a lot of people always have trouble with calorific values. Um, I'm not sure why, but we'll try to sort that out today in this in this short little tutorial here. So what we have is natural gas and CH4, and it has 1,000 BT, uh, BTUs per cubic foot. So if we were to show a cubic foot in this thing, if we were to fill that with natural gas, we would get 1,000 BTUs of energy. And that's important. That's a calorific volume or a calorific value. It's a number of BTUs in a given volume. So this is our this is our starting point. This is what we know. This is where we have to go from to figure out anything else. Now, what we need to do is we go back to our starting point, and then we have to translate it in three different ways, imperial and metric. So what we want to get to is kilowatts per cubic foot, starting from BTUs per cubic foot. We want to get to BTUs per cubic meter. And then we want to get to kilowatts per cubic meter. So we want to take and translate the original guy into all three of these things here. So we'll start with that one right there. What do we need to do? Well, it looks like we need to take BTUs and change that into kilowatts. Our volume stays the same. So we need to find a number that can translate that 1,000 BTUs into kilowatts. And what that is, is 3,412. So we've learned before that 3,412 BTUs is one kilowatt. And what we end up with is 0 0.293. 0 0.293 what? 0 0.293 kilowatts per cubic foot. So the idea is calorific values. This calorific value is the same as this. They're not the same numbers, but it, what, it, what it explains is the caliber value in two different ways of the same gas, which is natural gas. Now, a third way, then, is the BTUs to cubic meter. If we started from up here, BTUs per cubic foot, and went down there, well, the BTUs is staying the same, but the volume is changing. We are actually increasing volume, and you have to think about this visually. You're going from a cubic foot to a cubic meter, and a cubic meter is 35.31 times bigger than a cubic foot. So we would take the calorific value of a cubic foot and multiply it by 35.31, 35.31 times bigger, and what we'd end up with is 35,310. Another way to say the calorific value of natural gas. And then the fourth way, what we have, we got to get kilowatts per cubic meter. Now, when we're down here and we've got all these other values, we can actually do it two ways. We can go from kilowatts per cubic foot straight to kilowatts per cubic meter, or we can go to BTUs per cubic meter to kilowatts per cubic meter. So either way, we can go this way. That's changing the BTUs divided by 3412. That's getting us kilowatts. Or we can go this route. So that's taking the number of kilowatts per cubic foot, multiplying it by 35.31 to change it into kilowatts per cubic meter. And there you have it, changing calorific values from what we know into three other ways that we don't know and translating into those.